hello and welcome to the channel today in this video i will show you how to design a piece like this on on free card so now let me close this document here if you like the content i have been producing please subscribe to the channel and if you want to donate to the channel you can do so accessing qualify site Link to this page can be found on the description of this video. Thank you. Here we have the string page. We'll use these dimensions here to create this model in FreeCAD. So first here we create a new document. Click on this icon and now select Power Design Workbench. Create body and a new sketch in XY plane. Okay, in this sketch here we'll draw these We'll draw a sketch for this section here. So we come back to the sketch workbench and we select this cycle tool. We draw a cycle in this origin point. And now click in this horizontal line and draw this second cycle. And next here we select the string tool and we trim this cycle and this arc here. And now here we'll set the dimension of this sketch. So we come back to this string page and here we can see a range of 100 for this arc here and, and a range of 300 for this arc here. So we select this tool and for this arc here we set 300. And for this cycle, for this arc here we set 100. Okay, and now here we have this dimension here, 65. So what to do is to select this tool here and create a point in this arc. And next we select this point here and this point and we set. And now here we'll set this distance. So we select this tool and select this point and this point and we set 65 and now we have the sketch so we leave this sketch here and press on go to pad tool and the length of this pad here will be here we see 150 so we change the length here to 150 and we check this option reverse it and now okay and next here we'll do this fillet operation with this length here, 20 millimeters. So we come back to this model and we select this bottom face here and we go to fillet tool. We change the reds here to 20 millimeters and now we click on this add button and we add this edge here and this edge and now click OK. And now we can see this part here. So the next step is to create this pocket here. To create this pocket, what you have to do is to select this face here and go to thickness tool. We check this option here, make thickness inwards and next we'll set the size of this thickness. So here we see this follow. We see 4 millimeters. So we change here to 4 and OK. And what we'll do next is to create this part here. Okay, so we come back to this model and we select this face here and we create another sketch. And in this origin point, we draw a cycle. Okay, and the diameter of this cycle will set. Okay, here we see. Here we see 19 millimeters, so we select the cycle here and we set 19. And now close this sketch and go to pad tool. And the length of this pad here we can see in the string page is 10 millimeters, but we have this angle here. So here we'll set this formula, we'll set And we have the pad in this direction. So here we'll put this. 
and we have this so click OK and next what we have to do is to is to create this pocket here so what you'll do is to go to these features here and click in this arrow and select this cylinder here select this face here and now select this option initial CS and next you will change the range and the height of this cylinder so here we see this diameter 14 40 here we see 40 so the range here will be 20 millimeters and the height will set 5 millimeters and okay so now we have these pocket here and next we select this face and we go to the chamfer tool and here we set a size of one millimeters okay and next here we select this face again and we create a new sketch switch to section view and what you'll draw here is a cycle so we select this cycle tool and we draw this cycle and the diameter of this cycle will be here we see four millimeters so we select this tool here and now the cycle and we set four millimeters and the distance between this center point to this origin point will set 15 you can see here in this top view here we have this dimension so the distance between these, the center point of this cycle to this origin point will be the half of this dimension here, 15. And now we'll leave this sketch here and we go to pocket tool. And what to do here is to change the type to trogol and now OK. And next, and next go to model and select this pocket here. Go to polar pattern tool. And here we'll change the number of occurrence to 5. And OK, now we have this. And what we'll do next is to create this pocket here. So to do that, we create another sketch, a new sketch in Axi plane. OK, and now switch to section view and and here what we'll do is to select this tool here and extract this edge okay and next we'll draw a cycle with a range of 50 so we select this cycle tool and now click in this horizontal line here this vertical line and click in this line here and next here we select this constraint and the diameter of the cycle will set 100 okay and next we select this line tool and we connect this cycle and we select this trim tool and we trim this arc here and now we set these two points horizontal we set these two points vertical okay and now here we leave the sketch and we go to the groove tool click here and and click OK and now here we can see this pocket here so what we'll do next is to create these part here to do that we create a new sketch we create a new sketch in yz plane and here what we have to do is to draw a rectangle so here we switch to section view and we select the rectangle tool and click in this origin point and now draw this rectangle and here we see this dimension we see 4 and 24 so we select this tool here the length of this line here we set four millimeters and the length of this line here we set 24 
or we can say 20 okay and now leave this sketch and we go to model and here we change the attachment of the sketch here so ring click on the mouse and go to attachment to digital option click in this button and now select this edge here and now this option normal to edge okay and now here we go to this option check this option and now we have this and next is click okay and now select this sketch here go to additive pipe tool click in this button and now we'll add this edge click again and add this edge here and next this edge and now this edge here and okay so as you can see we have this part now and next what you have to do is to create these walls here so we select this face here and we create a new sketch and click on this icon here so now we have this construction geometry so we select this first here we select this external geometry tool and we extract this edge here and this edge and next we select this arc tool and we draw this arc in this way and next is click in this point here and in this point and now this point here okay and here we see this distance here so what to do here is to select this tool here and create points in these two arcs okay and in this arc here and this arc okay and next here we select all of these points these four points and now this origin point and we set horizontal constraint okay and now here we'll set this distance 12 so we select this constraint here and now these two points here and we set 12 and now these two points and we set 12 okay and now we have this so next we click on this icon again and we select this cycle tool we draw a cycle in this line here and we constrain the diameter of this cycle to let's see here to 10 millimeters so here we set 10 and next here we select this cycle and we go to this option select this option and now click in this arc and next select this point again select this cycle again and click in this option here and draw this second cycle this cycle here and next select this cycle again and click in this option and now in this arc so we go to model again double click in this sketch here and what to do here is to select this point and this point here and here we'll set we'll set vertical constraints and this point here and this origin point we set here we'll set horizontal constraint okay and now here we'll set the distance between these two cycles here so here we see this distance 108 okay and we see this vertical distance here so we select this vertical distance tool and now this point and this point here and we set seven five okay and here we see this distance so what to do is to select this tool again and select the center of the cycle here and now this origin point and here will be the half of eight so we'll set four and now leave this sketch here and we go to pocket tool click ok and next go to model select this pocket here and go to mirror feature and here we change the plane to axis plane 
and OK. And as you can see, we finished the design of this model. Thank you for watching this video.